evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Cicada Club. The Dumont Television Network brings you a night at the Cicada Club, broadcast live across the nation and around the world by means of electronic television. Presenting a torrent of top talent and tunes into your home from Maxwell DeMille Cicada Club, located in the beautiful Art Deco Oviat Building in downtown Los Angeles, California. Tonight, starring Janet Klein and her Parlor Boys, with yours truly, Conrad Montebank. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your master of ceremonies, the man, the rolling stone who gathers no moss. Put your hands together for Mr. Maxwell DeMille! Thank you, Conrad Montebang. My pleasure, Maxwell DeMille. Say, folks, welcome to the Cicada Club. I hope everyone is going to have a splendid evening tonight here. I know I shall, because my pal Conrad Montebank will be here tonight to join us. I certainly will, Maxwell, and look at this swell crowd. Boy, they sure are gussied up. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a swell crowd here at the Cicada Club, and we've got hundreds of thousands of people around the world that would just love to be watching this on the webcam, as well as the 40 or 50 people that are watching right now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start our show. Let's bring on with a big round of applause that lovely Hollywood chanteuse herself, the delightful Janet Klein. Janet Klein! Whoopee! <laughs> Happy Sunday evening, everybody. Let's go, boys. Everywhere nowadays they've got that question asking craze Dad says to mother, ask me another Now I've got some questions too, I'd like to ask you just a few I know the answer, so do you Who's got the cutest eyes? Who's got what satisfies you? You, that's who Who would I love to pet? Who is so hot? To order for me, gee, who have I got to win? Who simply must give in? Who? You, that's who. Hey, hey, hey. My favorite chic, whose kisses make me weak. Who is you? That's who. When I don't feel inclined, who makes me change my mind? Who is you? That's who. And who's got everything that thing they call it? And who can pet and love like Babe Ruth can hit? Who? Who takes the chic and prize? Who loves like Lindbergh flies? Who? We have some snappy dancers here tonight. That's lovely. Ooh. Um, let's see. Well, you know, that's one of those tunes from the 20s. It mentions, you know, Charles Lindbergh and Babe Ruth and all those troublemakers of the day. There were a lot of ukulele players back then, too. Did you know that? Here's two. So there was a there was an exposition 
1917, and the Hawaiians must have had a terrific display because from about 1917 to 1935, there, whoop, the ukulele caught on big time. All right, you ready to show, show it a little bit? All right, one, two, one, two, three. tree hear him what a song joy he is bringing singing to me singing all day long goodbye to skies of gray duet with me. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, maybe that little tune about the about Red Riding Hood. You know, I, I kind of have that sort of outfit on today. Right. <laughs> we'll do it. All right, yeah. Here we go. I have a hard time with Halloween because I'm, I'm sort of my alter ego all the time like this. <laughs> okay. Can't think anything else to be but me. No, somebody wrote to me on the, e on, on the internet wanting to call yeah. something else. Okay. Oh, sorry. Do you want to introduce this one? Oh. Here? We're going to do a, a number now called, um, um, a literary number called How Could Red Riding Hood Have Been So Very Good and Still Keep the Wolf from the Door? And Janet on the internet, have you heard of that? No. Oh, you haven't? Well, like, anyway, I've heard of it. And somebody emailed me wanting the chords to this delightful song. So it's got all over the world, even as far as England. It's oh. even defeated the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain. So, here it is. Oh. Wait, it's your, you're on the microphone. Wait, I'll come over there. Okay, well, can I oh, well, stand here? Well, well I better go there. Okay. okay, here we go. A one, here we go then. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Young but old enough for us to understand. We all believed in fairies and folks in fairyland. But the modern child is running wild, he wants to know too much. He's never understood about Red Riding Hood, so he's gonna ask questions. How could Red Riding Hood have been so very good and still keep the wolf from the doll? Father and mother, she had none. So where in the hell did the money come from? 
Please let me ask it. Who filled the basket? The storybooks, they never tell. So tell me, Jack. They say she found a great big wolf in Granny's bed. Wonderful. And he had to pick some bonnet pulled down over his head. But you know, and, and I know what she must have found instead. How could Red Riding Hood have been so very good and still keep the wolf from the dawn? Tell me more, tell me more. Of wolves up here, don't I? Oh, I had to be careful. A girl has to be careful. Some of them are married wolves. <laughs> yeah. quite a few of them married. All right, a few of them are married. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right, gents, how about that little tune called I Found a New Baby?
ain't that the cutest baby right there? <laughs> Waiting for that. Now this tune, this tune was written by the eighties. No, it's it's old. Yeah, now this little number was written in 1911 and stayed popular for a very long time. <laughs> we don't sing the gospel. Don't don't Google it. players even in the band. <laughs> Look what they are missing. <laughs> See, banjos and, and accordions yeah. were sort of out of style yeah, by the 30s, but, but so I don't out believe in that. They're so out there in, Jack. <laughs> they're so out there in, that's what, that's what Ian says. 
ahead of the time, too ahead. That's right. You can be just ahead of style or behind the times, and it's just fine with me. <laughs> Would you like to do what I like you to do? How about Ian is going to do something that's jolly for you? Well, we could do a bat. We could do another in the same Come on up. Well, you'll have to follow me on this. I want to say hello. I want to say hello, I want to see you smile, I want to hold you in my arms again. I want to do the little things we used to do before. Honey, I can't live without you anymore. I won't be satisfied until you're by my side. I'm longing for the moment when I'll say hello, I'll see you smile, and I'll hold you was a British number which I put in specially for you by George Formby called My Auntie Maggie's Homemade Remedy. Yes. And we won't go into what it was, could do for certain women who were putting on weight in the wrong place. All right, so, all right. We won't go any further because here is Janet. <laughs> it's very much a 50s song. <laughs> who sang that originally? Uh, George Formby. Oh, that was a George Formby yeah. number. Auntie who's Mel Remedy? Uh, Auntie Maggie's homemade remedy. Oh, my Auntie Ellie had a had a good one or two. Oh, well, I'm sure she but did. They, it, but they tasted really good. Let's not go into it now, <laughs> shall we? Let's just say, knit, knitting the needles were involved. Oh no! Oh dear! All right. Yes. How about a nice one? Sorry. Called Sunday. Did you know that it's a full moon tonight? I hear that. I didn't see it for myself. You'll have to go check that out. But I hear that it's, it's a Chinese New Moon Festival. And besides that, we have a beautiful crescent moon set out in the foyer. Did you see that? There's a very beautiful paper moon photo op. There's a photo operation in the foyer. 
and it's very lovely. So if you would like to have your photo taken solo or with your honey, it's right out there for you. All righty, everybody. All right. And um, okay. You can get off, John. so blue cause I'm away from you miss you too all the world seems wrong and there's nobody to cheer me when you're not near me I'm blue every Monday thinking over Sunday that one day when I'm with you Saturday was payday, it was a six day work week. Did your family have to go through that? Gee, that's why we celebrate on Labor Day. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Gotta be glad for a good, honest work these days, whether it comes on Saturday or not. Eh? <laughs> well, I hope everybody's doing well. A little dancing on a Sunday night is a good cure. I'd say it's a good time for a Hollywood party. Indeed. This one, this little ditty comes from a very good, entertaining movie. It was starring Jimmy Durante. And let's see, Laurel and Hardy was in it too. And uh, Polly Moran, lovely vaudeville actress. And who else was in that? You never, the Three Stooges were in it. The King's Man, the singing, the King's Man. And anyway, the song here was written by Rogers and Hart, and uh, it featured my favorite vocalist, Miss Frances Williams, and a bevy of dancing switchboard operators. <laughs> Ready, boys? Yeah. Yes. One.
Bones busy, we're dizzy, it's that affair. He's going, she's going, they're going where? Put on your bib and tucker, put on your soup and fish. I'm going, you're going, this is our dish. Hollywood party, get up, get out, get in it. Hollywood party on, nobody sleeps tonight. Bring along your girl, go home with someone else's. Forget about your girl, cause she's gonna do all right. We'll be kicking our heels up till the roosters are growing. Bring your automobiles up, everybody is going. Hollywood party, going a mile a minute. Hollywood party on, nobody sleeps tonight. Hey. Come on and wear your white tie, it's the right tie for tonight, I need you. At that noisy girls, the unfoldsy Hollywood party. All the minks and sables, wines with labels, garbles, gables, greet you. Taxi sandals to the tremendous Hollywood party. All the girls wear ermine coats that they got from men. But tomorrow night, they're gonna give them back again. So let the laughter spring out, music ring out, Satan sing out, yeah, man. Have that crashing furniture smashing Hollywood party. Get up, get up, get up, Hollywood party. Nobody sleeps tonight. Whee! Oh, Clyde. Clyde and Apollo, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The fabulous Jenna Clyde. What an announcement, yeah. I see. Say, Conrad, and Why say... Yes, Maxwell DeMille? And say, Janet, did you know that Hollywood Party is the theme song of Richard Halpern's new Hollywood cavalcade? I heard that just last week. And you were here last week because you were part of the Hollywood cavalcade. Whee! Along with the Dixie Daisies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, my And I do believe we have some of the Dixie Daisies in the house tonight, don't we? Hey, Yes, we have the lovely Joya, one of the Dixie Daisies. Joya, come up and hello. say hello to the folks. Hey, there's my pal. <laughs> Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Joya, part of the Dixie Daisies. Wow. That and was scuba diving, right? She was diving in the deeps with her deep sea seat helmet. <laughs> deep sea helmet, yes. Wow, and now she's gonna be out on the dance floor to show us how. <laughs> yes, in the mysterious depths of the ocean. And say, Conrad, did Why, you... yes, Mr. DeMille? There's something out in the lobby you want to tell us about. There certainly is. It's a fantastic crescent moon. You can sit upon the moon or no, crouch behind it or kneel nearby or just gesture at it and take photos that your friends and family can enjoy for many years to come. That's right, folks. Take your picture on the moon. It's out in the lobby, the outer lobby. And Perhaps so Sunday men will walk on the moon. Impossible. <laughs> That's just science fiction. That's for sure. And you folks watching our broadcast tonight, you won't be able to see that moon because it's outside. But you'll just have to come down here to the Cicada Club and see it for yourself. But now, we return to Janet Klein and her parlor boys. <laughs> Here's little Diddy from the Jersey Seashore. It's about a girl who likes to go and dance in all the hotel lobbies so that the bellhops will yell at her. Down in Jersey on the coast where the bold Atlantic flows Where the beauties dance the most and they're pretty these and those There came Miss Sadie Brown, the boardwalk Lulu Bell This baby 
Francis Brown just to hear the bellhops yell. Hey, shake em up, kids, shake em up, kids, shake em up, lady. Take em up, kid, take em up, kid, take em up, lady. Push a dime to another Charleston made them tall. When here you bring the latest thing, everybody's talking about the Jersey wall. Shuffle your feet, shuffle on me, shuffle on daily. Wiggle them down, wiggle them round, wiggle them gaily. This ain't no time to stop. Just do that Jersey wall. That's shake em up, kids, shake em up, kids, shake em up. Sadie does the Charleston ride and she does the Charleston dips. When you see her, you'll decide there's something on her hips. She wiggles around the town, which doesn't mean a thing. Those ice cold mamas frown when the red hot popples sing. Hey, take em up, kid, take em up, kid, take em up, lady. Take em up, kid, take em up, kid, take em up, lady. Wash the dime. Talk about the Jersey Wall. Shuffle your feet, shuffle on me, shuffle on daily. Wiggle on down, wiggle on round, wiggle on gaily. This ain't no time to squall. Let's do that Jersey Wall. That take em up, kid, take em up, kid, take em up now. Hey. Oh, that's some cute shaking. And... <laughs> that's a very cute shaking it up things out there. A little ditty by the boys called My Gal Sal.
we do? And we can all sing. Who's sorry? No, that's no good. Who's sorry? No, that's no good. It's no good? I don't know. You, you, you sing it. Yeah, who's sorry now? What's wrong with it? Okay. All right. Same key. You smiled when we parted. It hurt me somehow. I thought there was nothing worthwhile. The tables are turning and you're crying now. You know just how it feels. Who's sorry now? Who's sorry now? Whose heart is aching for breaking each vow? Who's sad and blue? Who's crying too? Just like I cry over you. Right to the end, just like a friend, I tried to warn you somehow. You've had your way, now you must pay. I'm glad that you're sorry now. and streetcars they don't worry me cause there'll soon be another one alone I don't have to stay I can go today cause the swinging door on my heart swings either way I had someone else before I had you and I'll have someone after you're gone today cause the swinging door on my heart swings either way I had someone else before I had you and I'll have someone after you gone well that was a, a pretty rough and tough number and so to bring back some pulchritude we must bring Miss Janet Klein back to bring some aesthetic pleasure. I had someone else before I had you, and I'll have someone after you're gone. I come from a very cynical country, <laughs> the country of Great Britain. Oh. Oh, dear. Did you know that every male baby born in Britain today, the most popular name is Mohammed in Britain? Isn't that a wonderful thing to feel excited about? Oh, do they call you Mo for short? Mo, and the most popular, uh, lo most popular last name is Patel. So you're Mohammed Patel. Isn't it wonderful? I'm so happy about That's it. That's multicultural. How's that with this room? Yeah. All right, well. Oh, you know what? I'd like my, I'd like my ukulele if I might. Oh, indeed. Pa 
pass it this way. Here it comes. It's a Nasty one. man, how about that? For a commentary. Ah, oh, I was just given a whole That's Hawaiian. my theme song, isn't it? Oh, there you, there you are, Maxwell. <laughs> we called for you, but oops. Oh, what happened? Oh, he comes on cue. Oh. the beast in so many gin. <laughs> Did you say you slipped a decade or you sipped a disc? <laughs> oh my. Yes, let's do that. My next number is a, is a ditty that was popularized by Blanche Calloway that was Cab's sister. I'll have you know. She had a band first, as a matter of fact. Did you know that? Ready? Get myself ready for you. Get ready.
Sentimental gentleman kind of thing. Would you join me for a little bit of that, Mr. Reynolds? Yes, you had a good, we had a good slide yesterday. Nice enough to see you. Yeah. Oh, I guess there might be a few sentimental gentlemen out of there, out there on the dance floor, perhaps. Anybody celebrating an anniversary or anything fancy? Birthday. Birthday. Whose is it? Is it that boy over there? Well, this one's for you. <laughs> Where are you from? Los Angeles. All right, well, this one is for you, even though it says you're from Georgia. <laughs> here we go. All right, birthday boy. No doubt you've heard about the sweetest man in Dixieland. I'll say he's hot, he's got just what it takes to be a lady's man. But when he struts along and raises cane, uh, husbands tie their wives up with a ball and chain. Oh, sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia, gentle to the ladies all the time. Yes, sir. When it comes to loving, he's a real professor. Yes, sir, just amazing Dixie Valentine. See those Georgia beaches hanging around him now. Watch that baby teaches, nobody knows just how. Sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia. Gentle to the ladies all the time. From Georgia, Georgia, sent to the ladies all the time. Oh! When it comes to love, and he's a real professor. Yes, sir, just amazing Dixie Valentine. See those Georgia peaches hanging around him now. Watch that baby teacher, nobody knows just how. Uh -huh. Sentimental gentleman from Georgia, Georgia. Well, again. <laughs> oh, are you coming back up here to tell us to lay off for a little while? Yes, folks, let's hear it for Janet Klein and her parlor boys. Janet Klein! 
Now, Janet and Paul of you're going to take a little break, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> if we must. And there's Ian Whitcomb playing around with the sound effects department. Oh, I thought it was the ocean, ocean waves. Ah, I see. All right, thank you. And many people believe when you hold the Cicada Club to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Say, folks, it's your old pal Conrad Montebank here to say hello to all of our friends watching this broadcast from around the world and tell you that there will be no show at the Cicada Club next week due to a private party. Please, ladies, hold your tears back. Or, gentlemen, share a handkerchief with that lady next to you. Join us the following Sunday, October 18th, when Maxwell DeMille Cicada Club proudly presents the Rhythm Club All-Stars Night of the Divas. Yes. With special guest divas, Jennifer Keith, yeah. Christine Nelson, wow. and Kim Lane. I'll say. Then, on October 25th, it's our spooktacular Halloween party. With Dean Mora and his orchestra, plus the Satin Dolls pin-up dancer. Hubba hubba. Mm. And now, here's Mr. DeMille to tell you more. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. As Conrad Monobank so aptly put it, October 25th is going to be our spooktacular annual vintage Halloween costume party with Dean Mora and his orchestra. And I'd like to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, tickets are on sale right now. However, tomorrow the price goes up. So if you're watching this show on our broadcast and you want to order, go to our electronic information dispensering page and you can order your tickets there. Now Maxwell, isn't there also the rare and amazing opportunity to visit the delightful Oviat building penthouse? That's right folks, part of our vintage Halloween party is an after party on the 13th floor at the rare and exclusive Oviat penthouse. Many well, people think the 13th floor doesn't exist. I don't think it does because in the elevator it just has a P for penthouse. Mm. But we'll be featuring the Satin Dolls and their Red Hot Show with our special host, Mr. Richard Halpern. Oh! And say, folks, during this intermission break, we invite you all out to the outer lobby where you can take your picture on the moon. And no oxygen is required. Exactly. For those of you who didn't have dinner here this evening, they have a fantastic menu up at the bar. Please visit Max, the fabulous bartender, and say, Max, I'm hungry. Max, the benignly belligerent bartender. Mm. And now, folks, we'll put on some recorded music for your dancing pleasure. Then Janet Klein and her parlor boys will be back for their final set this evening as well as their final set this year at the Cicada Club. <laughs> 